actual breach means the promiser refuses to perform the contract when on the due date of the performance when the performance is due or or during the course of performance there are two situations let's say today is 1st jan you give me a contract to construct your house okay so what happens is now i'm supposed to construct construct your house but when is the construction going to start let's say it is going to start on 10th jan and how much time will it take me to construct your house let's say 3 months from now so i'll be completing by feb march and april so by 10th april your house would be constructed so this is the date of contract this is the date of performance that is the due date of the performance date when contract becomes due the due date and this should be ideally this should be the date of completion of the contract when the contract is over now we have entered into a contract on this date first jan and the performance is due to start on 10th jan now if on 10th jan i come to you and i say i cannot construct the house for you please look for some other contractor now what am i doing i am breaching the contract that we have entered on first jan we have entered into a contract on first jan the due date is 10th jan so i am breaching i am refusing to perform the contract here on 10th jan so this would be said as the actual breach of the contract because i am refusing to perform on the due date on the due date when the contract was due to perform there's also a second scenario during the course of performance now in this condition i'll take 3 months to complete the contract let's say i start the contract on 10th jan i start the contract and on 1st april for some reason let's say i have to go abroad or you know there's some emergency or contingency that has arise and because of that emergency i cannot continue with the contract i cannot complete the performance of the contract so on 1st april i come to you and i tell you look i have completed 50% of the contract i started my work on 10th jan and now i have completed 50 60 or 70 how much ever percentage of my contract but the thing is 
I won't be able to continue with it. I won't be able to complete the contract because of X, Y, Z reason. Now, in this case, what is happening is I am breaching the contract during the course of performance. During the course of performance. The course of performance is from 10th Jan to 10th April. And during this period, at any time after starting the contract, I refuse to perform. That will also be called as actual breach. So actual breach has two scenarios. When the promiser refuses to perform on the due date or if he has started the contract on the due date but refuses to perform during the course of performance. So in either scenario, it will be called as actual breach. Please remember this actual breach has two scenarios where the promiser refuses to perform the contract on the due date. That is when he is due to perform it, when he is due to start the contract or when he refuses to perform during the course of performance. That is he has already started the contract. And he has completed some percentage of it, maybe 5%, maybe 15%, maybe 50%, maybe 70%. He has completed some percentage, but he has not completed it fully. So, in such a case wherein he has not completed the contract fully and during the course of performance, he is refusing to complete the contract. This will also be called as actual breach. So now what is the case for anticipatory breach? 